I love that Halloween's getting closer. And I'm starting to see more Halloween-based, I guess, recommendations on my feed. I'm starting to see a lot more, like, especially musical recommendations. I've seen the, uh, the video. I don't know if it's an official video. It might be. I'm going to check it out. For uh, This is Halloween by Marilyn Manson. But this one caught my attention. This is Halloween. Metal version by Lyric Noel. And based on the score for my recommended feed, this is going to be... This might possibly, and when I say possibly, it, it will be another rabbit hole. But before I get going, be sure to subscribe. Helps me out so much. Patreon is in the description down below. New uploads every Sunday. Actually, before I get going, the question, this question was asked to me. What was it? Yesterday, I think. Would this be a Halloween movie? Or a Christmas movie. I said it's both. Because like the first. I guess the first half of this movie. Is all Halloween based. And the second half would be Christmas based. Yeah I would definitely say it would be Christmas based. Because the whole thing of it is. Jack becomes Santa right or. Sandy. I honestly, I would say it would count as both. You could watch it at Halloween, you could watch it at Christmas. I mean, even still, this isn't my Halloween movie. Well, not my main one. I'll still watch it every Halloween, but the one I watch religiously every Halloween, and I guess throughout the year, The Blair Witch Project. That, that's my favorite movie of all time. Hands down. And a lot of people didn't like it. But The Book of Shadows. I adore that movie. And a lot, But a lot of people don't. Even the one that just came out. The, uh, the sequel to the first one. Flawless. Flawless. But anyway. Let's, let's do this. Okay. She sounded exactly like them. Exactly. Feeling 
that, that, hold on, is there more? Please be more. Okay, so. The feeling of that, like, the original is, is forever. It's timeless. But I think that right there was how the original song was supposed to make you feel. Maybe not, maybe so. But that just gave you... It wasn't like, it was just... Fuck, I don't like a sense of unease or whatever. Like something's coming, something big is about to happen. Which would make sense. Because at the end of that song... In, in the original, in The Nightmare Before Christmas, Jack shows up. He comes out of the fountain, right? Or they're just... They're introducing you to the characters that you would, like, be with and who you would see throughout the movie. But I think that right there, everything about that, was that was supposed to have how do I explain this the way you felt during that song is how you were supposed to feel during the movie and I know they couldn't go like full scary full horror because at the end of the day it's a children's movie right mostly I mean, older kids, maybe, when that kid pulls those two heads or the head out of the Christmas gift. I, I don't know if you'd want to, your four or five-year-old seeing that. But, like, that, that's it. That's the song. That's the feeling right there. Her voice was impeccable. Impeccable. So, with that being said, I'm going to take a little a little trip through her, her channel. For now, that's it. That's all. Thanks so much for watching. I will see you again real soon. Later.